episode of the B Movie Club. Today we're going to be discussing 1988's Alien Nation, starring James Caan and Mandy Patinkin. Uh, the B Movie Club is the show where basically I get to talk about my favorite movies. <laughs> um, hopefully, uh, there are some things here that you enjoy as well. And I'm always open to your suggestions uh, about what movies we should do in the future. If you have any other questions or comments, you can reach me on Facebook. Or uh, you can tweet me at KB9575 on Twitter. So what we do, for those of you guys just joining us for the first time, is I will let you know on Twitter and Facebook uh, what movie I'll be discussing in a week. And hopefully during that time you can uh, rush out and see it. And let me know your thoughts and opinions of it. And I'll share that on the show. Um, <laughs> I was A few weeks ago I talked about how uh, uh, YouTube picks a picture, like a still from the video, and that represents your video. And since I mentioned that, literally my pictures have gotten progressively the last one looked like I was in the middle of having some sort of a seizure or something, so I apologize in advance. Um, so again, Alien Nation, 1988. Um, it kind of looks like a sci-fi movie, and it takes place, it was filmed in 88, but it takes place in the future of 1991. So there you go. Um, it's really more of a, uh, of a buddy cop movie, and it has deals with issues of civil rights. Um, in this movie, the aliens uh, basically washed ashore on uh, Earth with no way to go back, so they've like, been assimilating them into, um, into the general population, as if it's just another ethnic group, essentially. And over the course of the three years that they've been there, they've uh, joined the community, so there's actually, like, Within Los Angeles, where the story takes place, there's like uh, a little community of um, the aliens, which they call newcomers. Um, and in the story, James Conn is kind of the hard bitten old, uh, disgruntled uh, LA police detective. And his partner is killed at the beginning of the movie, spoiler alert. And he teams up with uh, a newcomer who's the first detective. Uh, to find out who his murderer is. And their inter interchange is kind of interesting because the alien is kind of innocent to all things uh, Earth. So there's a lot of funny exchanges that go on between them. And James Conn is kind of a, a bigot against the alien because the aliens were responsible, or at least some of the aliens were responsible for killing his partner. So there you have it. So, of course, over the course of the movie, he overcomes his bigotry and learns to appreciate alien partner, and so on and so forth. So, uh, basically, it deals with issues of um, racism and how that's obviously not a good thing. Um, it deals with seeing human society through these, the eyes of uh, these aliens. Um, and it's, but it's basically, at the root of it, it's, it's a buddy cop movie. And it's, it's a comedy, but it also has lots of action. Um, and it's a mystery, I guess, as well. It's kind of a combination of different things. I know uh, what the people who wrote it, who was supposed to be kind of like in the heat of the night, but with aliens. And it's just uh, close enough in the future where they didn't have to really change anything. There's no laser guns or you know, spaceships or any of that kind of stuff, really. Um, so, when they were designing the aliens, um, they wanted them to look like aliens, like different, but not so different as to be kind of scary, confusing, um, and bizarre. They didn't want them to be like this lizard creature that's walking around. So they, <laughs> they basically make them look like they have potatoes for heads. And <laughs> off camera, James Conn is constantly referring to the aliens as potato heads. Uh, it actually took uh, Mandy Patinkin, who plays his partner, 
uh, four hours to get into the makeup. Mandy Patinkin, you may remember, he's kind of a chameleon because he played Inigo Montoya in The Princess Bride, but he'd never know it uh, because obviously he doesn't have any accents. Um, speaking of accents, one of the main villains played by Terrence Stamp, who was General Zod in Superman 2. He's a British actor, and of course, as an alien, he also has a British accent. Why an alien would have a British accent, nobody knows. Um, <laughs> overall, it's an enjoyable film. Again, it's it's not really, I mean, they're aliens, but it's not really sci-fi. It's more of a straight-up cop movie. Buddy cop, crime story. Um, I know uh, Roger Ebert gave it two stars. He thought it didn't work all that well, but I'll tell you what. People remember the TV show and are, you know, have less than positive ideas about the TV show, but the movie was great. The movie was really entertaining, so I highly, highly recommend it. Um, Rotten Tomatoes gave it 56% rotten, which, that's just ridiculous. Come on, you can do better than that. Uh, so I recommend, if you haven't seen it already, rush out and see it. The exchanges between uh, James Conn and Mandy Patinkin are classic. They're actually the best parts of the movie. Um, so it is on Netflix. Um, it is not available instantly. You have to get it uh, through the snail mail. And I think that's about all I can tell you about Alien Nation. I recommend it. Um, next week, we are going to be doing Motel Hell from 1980. Uh, on that, I, I put it out to you guys. I've been kind of mixing it up, doing an action movie, uh, a comedy, a horror movie, kind of alternating. If you'd rather I do more horror movies or more comedies or more action films or more sci-fi or whatever, please feel free to let me know. Again, I'm on Facebook. You can tweet me uh, at KD9575. And I'd love to hear your suggestions about any other movies that I should be doing. Um, to end, I'd like to end it up with a quote from the movie. <laughs> and uh, earlier in the movie, we find out that the uh, Manny Patinkin's character, the alien's character, his name is Sam Francisco. Because like many immigrants who came to this country, they were kind of just, they were given crazy names, essentially. Um, so he kind of said, you know, James Connolly, I'm not going to call you San Francisco. I'm going to call you George. And he goes, you know, it doesn't bother you that we find your name funny, right? And Maddie Patinkin turns to him. He's like, it's exactly so. Like your name, Sykes, um, that's his last name. Uh, it sounds exactly like Yikes, which in our language means excrement and cranium. And I'll leave that to you to figure out what it means. So... <laughs> I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be well. Have a good one.